Uh, just welcoming Sandra Miller from Workplace Prevention, oh, Workplace Safety and Prevention Services, who's going to talk about their um, their initiatives that uh, because they're very active um, in the workplace mental health world, and a partner from the um, from our working group, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, so I am Sandra Miller. I'm the Vice President of Strategic Partnerships and Government Relations with WSPS. So I'm not a mental health specialist. We do have a team of mental health specialists within our organization. They're decentralized through the regions. And we also have a strategic advisor who I'll speak to a little bit later who helped uh, work on the national standards. So we have a foundation of staff that are specializing in this area. So just to give you a context of who we are, we're the, the, one of the larger health and safety associations in Ontario, $43 million budget. Our responsibility is to serve the 162,000 member firms, so sim similar to Jeff, the 10 to the province. We still are uh, looking at our ways of one-to-many approaches of disseminating information to make sure we cover all of the sectors that we're responsible for and bringing the communities into that equation, as well as all of the system partners that we work with in Ontario. Oh, there we go, sorry, wrong one. So someone else did this one for me, so it has a few more fanciness than I would normally put in. Um, so uh, basically I think many people's journey uh, was uh, pole vaulted into activity with the standard being released, right? So we had uh, worked on the standard, uh, uh, Andrew Harkness from our organization. Uh, so we have been on the journey longer than the standard had been uh, since its release. But uh, definitely the standard has created a lot of uh, interest from, from firms and it provides an excellent framework for us to continue to build uh, content around. One of the other foundational things that we've done, and a lot of people have spoken about this today, is we also received a grant from the Ministry of Labour through their OSHPIP program two years ago. And we partnered with 13 public health units across Ontario to pilot a particular uh, program called uh, Investing in Healthy Minds at Work to over 300 firms. Because we had a cohort of firms, which is very difficult in the sectors that we represent because of the, tr the, the uh, fluidity of people moving from job to job, we were able to follow these firms for the last two years and have done evaluations every six months for the two years. And this, uh, this uh, poster, which I'll have sent out to you, uh, speaks to uh, the feedback that we've been getting from firms. And one of the big things, as John alluded to, that we've learned is in many cases, it's about the readiness of the firm to be able to bring the mental health conversation into their culture. And so uh, because of that, much of what we're doing and rolling out to, the, to other firms is about the readiness assessment and for them to have a, a, a journey for them to go on to be able to bring, to bring mental health into the conversation. Ultimately, similar to what everyone else has said here today, it's about having psychosocial harms and physical harms be treated equally and with the same importance over the long term in the organization. So one of the things that's unique about WSPS is our consulting practice in over and above training. So we are using the learnings that we had from the uh, public health unit's uh, 300 firms to help define what our, our consulting practice will be. The a program that we initiated with them had six different modules. It can be unpacked in multiple different ways to deal with the firms and where they are in their health and safety journey. The focus again, as we've talked about earlier today, is around stigma and awareness. Uh, again, we saw a spike in asking for assistance when the chronic mental stress compensable claim legislation was put in in Ontario. But really it's about creating tools and expertise for people to be able to find uh, tools that they need when they need them. And one of the ways that we're doing that is the work that we've done collectively with our f system partners on the thinkmentalhealth.ca. So this is a website that has been contributed to by many of the partners that we work with. One of the decisions we made at the very beginning of this was that it wasn't to build new tools until we knew what we needed. So in the th thinkmentalhealth.ca are two, over 70 peer-reviewed tools that have been created by organizations that have been in this field for years. In many cases, health and safety is a newcomer to the mental health journey. So working with the Canadian Mental Health Association, working with uh, uh, Guarding Minds at Work, Mark working with COPS, COMSOC, the, the tools, all the tools that were described here today have, are up there as well, is an opportunity for us to get material out to small and medium-sized businesses 
in an accessible way. The system will be continuing to curate this site and adding new tools and doing a, a gap assessment as to where tools are missing or where tools may be a little bit too sophisticated for small businesses and being able to make them more accessible and change them for their use. The other thing we wanted to talk about and uh, when we we're talking about tools uh, is in our training suite. So we do have a number of products and services and I really want to uh, thank Terry for one of uh, the pilots we just finished last week. So our most recent tool is actually uh, taking a look at um, training for Joint Health and Safety Committee members. So Terry collaborated with our organization and brought together a, a collection of union representatives to go through the tool with us. So it has OPSU, QP, the Elementary Tool, uh, Teachers Federation, ONA, and United Food and Commercial Workers, and Unifor all got together a couple of weeks ago with our mental health specialists to provide us with feedback on a, 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 a training program, a one-day training program for Joint Health and Safety Committees. We also have an introduction in, uh, conversation starter. We have a raising awareness. And again, it's meeting people where they are from one hour to two hours. Taking a look at how managers should respond is a half day program. The new Joint Health and Safety Committee is one day. We have uh, partnered with uh, Canadian Mental Health Association for Mental Health First Aid Basics, which is a two day program. And then we have the Investing in, in Healthy Minds at Work, which is what we use for part of our consulting practice. So I think one of the things that we want to mention is that really, for us, this is all about collaboration and partnerships. So it's taking a look at the public health units, working with the Canadian Mental Health Commission, working with our system partners to take a look at promotion of, of mental health. The national standard is really our guide, and the work that we're going to do going forward is really about unpacking that guide using the 13 factors, but at a very tangible, tactical way of providing tools and services to our customers so that they are looking at what they can do first in their organizations. And what we've learned from most of the organizations that we've started this journey with is that the top three factors, not dissimilar to the today's discussions, are on organizational culture, civility and respect, and psychological harms. So we partner with Dr. Martin Shane, Bill Howitt, a number of other partners, and the system partners. And you're going to talk about the mental health uh, working group a little bit later, or do you want me to just? Well, you can, we'll, we'll, we're going to have like, a discussion of what more we can do. Like okay. So we're also a member of the, the system-wide mental health working group, which OCAO and a number of the partners that are in this room are on. The other thing that we're doing across this, uh, the, the system is we are also partnering with some of our systems. Not everybody needs to be in all of the health and safety businesses. So for mental health, we're partnering with IHSA and helping provide services to their customers. Well, they provide services to our customers on fall protection. So there's lots of collaboration going on between HSAs to make sure that the, that the workplaces across Ontario are getting the services that they need. Okay. Thanks.